right, so Virgo, let's see what's going to come out for you. Now, keep in mind, this will not resonate for every Virgo. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. We also have tarot classes, money spells, love spells, protection spells, and so on, which will also be in the description down below. And if you'd like to become a member, feel free to do so. So, let's see what's going to come up for you, Virgo. has not came out for every any other sign and you are the last sign that I have done we have lifting the veil questioning everything anything unaligned must go the golden children inner child tenderness innocence rare gifts you are a rare one Virgo deep cellular healing Art of Currents Energy, Physical and Emotional Healing. Hyria. Hyria. No, no. Longing for home, homesick for the stars. Look at this. You are not of this world here, Virgo. You are, you know, from the stars, from the universe yourself here. You have rare gifts, and that's to do with deep healing. Maybe some of you are going through deep healing now. And what that allows you to heal others you've been through things similar to them I really you you know you're very special you have rare gifts and right now anything that is not aligning in your life anything that does not deserve to be in your life or is weighing you down from your true self your true destiny here Virgo that is going that is being released so don't hang on to those things that can be thoughts that can be people that can be situations places in your life, okay, because you're really meant to help others here. I forgot the camera's over here. <laughs> okay. Golden child, that is what you are. Whether you're an adult doesn't matter. I know some of you, I see you in my comments. It's not funny. your car is just trying to fly out here. We have number 15, the Awakener. Rise. Out of the ashes, I rise like the golden sun. That's what we're doing here, Virgo. You're rising. And number 23, the Jade Star. Surrender. I'm ready to let go with self-compassion. Yeah, letting go of something for compassion for yourself. Rising towards, look at this, number 35, the Lapis Lazuli Star, Starlight, my inner vision guides me to my higher purpose, guiding towards your higher purpose here, and what is that? Number 2, beloved Zeus, the lovers, this cosmic union is destined for greatness, for you to heal people, for you to be connected to the divine as a healer, okay? you to be united with your, your divine sort of spirits so that you can both work together to help and heal people. Virgo, yeah. We have number 19, Death and Rebirth. A darkness to light, you are rebirthing here. Moving on into a, a new phase. We have number 28, Abundance. Fortune, wealth, plenty. You got abundance coming your way. You got wealth. You got good things coming. Because number one, Portal. Infinite mind, awakening consciousness. Because you're going through this per portal. Hurdle. Portal. Number 26, Earth Magic, Fearlessness, Removing Obstacles. Maybe even your magic or 
somehow involved in this, but either way, Virgo stepping through this portal, rebirthing here, and that brings a lot of abundance. I feel like you're, you're very special. You don't know how special you are, but it's... It's like there's no other besides you. We have Sacred Union, Partnership Romance. Yeah. Uniting back to your higher divine spirits. We have the Ice Queen, Ideas Preserved, Non-Action Entitlement. The High Lord of this. Gratitude and Service, Selflessness, Humility, Conscious Action. The Rainbow Prince, Compensation, Perseverance. These are all aspects of yourself here, Virgo. Okay, High Lord of Gratitude and Service, Rainbow Prince, Sacred Union, yes. Now let's see with your tarot, what's going to be going on. Let's look at this deck. How big this deck is? That's a tarot deck. It's not an oracle one. Splitting the deck, we have Luna, which is the moon. You also might be very connected to the moon. And the Five of Flames. Flames is wands. That is, the moon is bringing you energy here, Virgo. Okay, maybe some of you, it's like the partnership with the moon, which I'm not joking. So, Virgo, I grab all my cards. But I also feel like with this partnership and union, it is very possible for you to be meeting someone who's going to be at your same level when you're going through this, this uh, new phase of your life. Someone that you really have a soul connection to. This is someone that you, it is your ideal partner. Okay, that it is possible for you. Now, if you're already with someone that doesn't apply to you, that should be common sense, okay? We have Adept of Flames. We have the Lovers. We have the Five of Crystals. Crystals being pentacles in this deck. We have the Seeker of Crystals. We have the Chariots. We have Transition. We have the Ten of Crystals. We have Reflection. We have the Four of Orbs. Orbs is swords in this deck. We have the Six of Flames. Six of Chalices. Chalices being Cups. Yes, Virgo, you're going towards this transitioning energy. Moving on into a new phase of your life. Moving forward here. Being connected. Moving out of this energy of feeling like maybe stuck or, or you like don't have things going on but you're getting out of that energy more towards it's like you're, you're moving forward okay you're being brought new energy here and i really feel like that's the, the divine connecting to you helping you also bringing you this abundance in your life that's what i feel it's like you have that soul connection. It's like you, you have that deep connection to the divine. Alright. So, Virgo, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. 
Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.